In this video, you will learn how to cast an agarose gel. Start by taping both ends of a gel tray with laboratory or painter's tape, making sure to securely seal the edges of the tray. Press down firmly along each edge of the tape to ensure that there are no leaks. Repeat this procedure with the other side of the gel tray, again making certain that each edge has been firmly sealed. Next, place the comb into the comb guides on the gel tray. If you plan to run DNA samples, the comb should be placed at one end of the gel tray. Place the tray with comb on a flat and level surface. Before pouring the molten agaros, make certain that it has cooled to 55 degrees Celsius. Pour the agaros into the gel tray until the agaros comes to within 2 to 4 millimeters of the top of the teeth of the comb. When the gel is cool and opaque, remove the comb by pulling it gently straight up and out of the wells. You should be able to see that each well is well formed. If the comb is removed before the gel is set, the wells will collapse. If the gel is to be used immediately, remove the tape from both ends of the tray and continue with the activity. If the gel is to be stored for later use, keep the gel in the gel tray, leaving the tape on, and store it at 4 degrees Celsius in a small plastic bag.